<laughs> so, Silk Road. You probably all think that silk was the main thing traded on the Silk Road. Well, that's true in a way, it was. And, but there were everything. You think of everything's traded. You go into a shopping mall today, and what can you buy? Hundreds upon hundreds of things. And if you look at the back of them, half of them say made in China or made in India or something else. That's what the Silk Road was like. Everything that everybody wanted was traded. From luxuries like silk and very expensive jewellery to um, things like sheep and goats and... Um, all the way down to just the fun things of life and toys and um, cosmetics and clothes and other things that people wanted. So from the third, well, from about 5,000 years ago, China knew how to make silk. It isn't obvious because you think silkworms then make themselves into little cocoons. These little insects make themselves into cocoons. And to get silk, you have to boil the cocoons and unwind the silk from them. Um, Nobody knew about the secret of silk until about 3,000, uh, 2,000 years ago. China kept it very secret, and it made sure that all its border guards searched everybody who left China so that it didn't take out any secrets about how to make silk, because they had a monopoly of trade. They made lots and lots of money from selling silk, and they didn't want anybody else to be able to buy it. So in about 500 AD, the story goes, there was a princess, a Chinese princess, who was sent to marry a king of Khotan. This is Khotan, it's sort of um, now in western China. Um, this was often happened. Princesses and princes um, were often sent to marry foreign princesses and princesses to form diplomatic alliances, so she wasn't the first. But the king wrote to her and he said, you know, he said, if you want to carry on wearing your fine silk clothes, you'll have to bring with you the secret of silk because here in Khotan we don't know how to make silk and we just have rough felt made of camel and sheep's wool. Um, and she was very dismayed at not being able to wear her fine clothes. And so when she left China, she had this elaborate headdress, so the story goes, and in it she kept little silkworm and silkworm cocoons and mulberry leaves. The silkworms feed off the leaves of the mulberry tree. Um, and seeds for the mulberry tree. And she hid them all in her elaborate headdress. And of course, when she went out the border, the border guards didn't dare to search properly a princess, an imperial princess, the daughter of the emperor. And so she escaped with the secret of silk. And Khotan soon set up a very thriving silk industry, which started to rival China's. And then the secret of silk gradually went westward until it came all the way to Europe. But that took about another 500 years before we learned how to make silk.